The year 2023 was marked by pivotal events that shaped the global political landscape. From the corridors of power to the streets filled with protesters' voices. This was a year when nations grappled with unprecedented challenges and opportunities. In January, the world bid farewell to Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. Meanwhile, New Zealand witnessed a significant political change. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, known for her empathetic leadership, announced her departure from office, marking the end of an era in Kiwi politics. And I know that I no longer have enough in the tank to do it justice. February brought tensions to the fore. Violence erupted in Nablus, West Bank. Israeli forces clashed with the Palestinian residents, spotlighting the enduring conflict in the region. March saw China's Xi Jinping secure an unprecedented third term. Simultaneously, the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for Russian President Vladimir Putin, a bold step in the context of the ongoing Ukraine conflict. The next month was marked by Sudan's internal conflict with striking drone footage, capturing the chaos in Khartoum, signaling the country's unstable transition to civilian rule. In May, the United Kingdom celebrated the coronation of King Charles III. God save the king! God save the king! Amidst the pomp, the nation grappled with the divided public opinion on monarchy. June's tragic highlight was the drowning of migrants near Greece, where most of those on board the overloaded boat were refugees from Egypt, Syria and Pakistan. Following this, adventurous depths turned perilous, when Ocean Gate's submersible exploring the Titanic wreckage went missing and was later found to be crushed under the immense hydrostatic pressure, killing all those on board, including British billionaire Hamish Harding, and Pakistani businessman Shahzada Dawood with his son Suleiman. The most important part of what's coming. August saw a dramatic turn in US politics as former President Donald Trump faced legal challenges, stirring the American political scene. Trump faced court on August 3rd, pleading not guilty to the 34 count indictment, including depriving voters of their right to a fair election. October was marred by violence as Hamas launched an attack on Israel, leading to extensive casualties, along with taking many Israeli residents hostage. Israel responded with airstrikes along with the total siege of the narrow coastal enclave, squeezed between Israel and Egypt, as Prime Minister Netanyahu declared war. Israel, an explosion at Al Ahli Al Arabi Baptist Hospital in Gaza City caused heavy casualties and triggered outrage in the Arab world. The UN General Assembly overwhelmingly voted in favor of an immediate humanitarian truce between Israel and Hamas. The vote was significant, with 120 in favor and 14 against, including Israel and the United States, while 45 countries abstained. In November, a ceasefire agreement was brokered by Qatar, the US and Egypt, leading to a temporary halt in hostilities between Israel and Hamas for four days. After its two-day extension, Israeli bombardment resumed in Gaza. This led to a severe humanitarian crisis, with approximately 2.3 million Gazan residents facing homelessness and shortages of food, water and other essential supplies. Over 16,000 Gazans, with a majority of women and children, are said to have been killed since the October 7th. Over in the UAE, the UN Climate Change Conference wrapped up with an agreement on the beginning of the end of the fossil fuel era as nearly 200 parties came together in Dubai for COP28. From historic diplomatic breakthroughs to ongoing conflicts, this year has been a testament to the complexities of our shared world. Looking forward to the future, we anticipate fostering of cooperation and understanding among nations to build a more peaceful, sustainable and equitable future for all.